What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys five of my best photo editing software for Linux. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to talk about the five or my five best uh, photo editing applications that you can install on the Linux operating system. Now, please note that these are my five picks. You know what I'm saying? I know it's plenty of them out there. So if you don't see your favorite one on this list, then don't be upset. This is just my, you know, picks that I want to, you know, introduce to different people that want to get into photo editing. Uh, I'm not a photographer. I don't take many pictures and all that stuff i just simply use photo editing software just to create thumbnails and other other graphics that i need for my youtube channel so these applications are the ones that i actually use when i need to actually make some changes to photos or cut out the background you know all that good stuff you can do with the photo editing software these are the applications that i use so let's get started and just so you know this list is not in any particular order. I'm gonna just go through them, you know, the ones that I actually like and okay, cool. So let me bring up my browser right fast so I can walk through each one of them. Okay, cool. So the first one I wanna show you guys is Inkscape. Uh, and I wanted to just pull up the website so you guys can see, you know, uh, all of these applications are within the repositories of all the different you know distributions that's why i want to you know bring in these i think one or two of them may you may have to uh build the application if it's not in the repository but it's not that hard it's a lot of instructions out there on how to actually do that but from what i've seen the main distributions of linux uh all of these on this list should be in the repositories but anyway the first one is inkscape now inkscape is a free and open source cross-platform you know feature rich uh graphics editor that works in linux you know windows and mac os and one thing about it is similar to adobe illustrator so it's pretty good with making like clip art you know diagrams and flow choice and all that good stuff so i just wanted to point this one out because it's a free and open source software like i said you know what i'm saying and this is something you could you could do basic editing in and it has a lot of documentation you know on how to actually use it you know and it also includes working with different types of files so you know you can work with pdfs you know pngs svgs all that good stuff so and another thing about it they have a lot of add-ons for this actual application that's why i want to show the website as well because they have a real good community behind it so therefore you can you know get a lot of support as well as add-ons and all that good stuff to the application okay so the next one i want to show you guys is actually uh pinta now this one is very similar to microsoft paint you know what i'm saying it's a ubuntu picture editor you know that allows you to create images from scratch as well as you know kind of edit them uh, this is a basic uh, tool that you can install on any Linux distribution. You know what I'm saying? You can apply effects, filters, you know, re reduce noise, you know, stabilize the image, as well as, you know, correct mistakes, you know, all that good stuff. It's a very simple application. Uh, that's why, you know, I kind of compared it to Microsoft Paint. So this is a very basic editor i've used it in the past just to quickly edit a few pictures especially when it came to like the size of the image you know and just basic editing of the image this is a pretty good tool that you can you know use to actually handle simple editing tasks so let's go on and move on to the next one and the next one i want to talk about is dark tables now this is kind of a somewhat advanced uh photo editing software uh this is something that a lot of people photographers use uh and as you can see i'm on their website let me go down and show, read the first sentence so you guys can understand and just so you know i have never used this application 
but it has like a lot of great reviews that's why i figured i would put it on this list um the other ones i have used but this is one that i haven't used because like i said i'm not a photographer um and also this is an alternative to adobe lightroom it's pretty much the exact same thing but it's open source you know what i'm saying so op but it says right here dark tables is a open source uh, photography workflow application and raw developer a virtual lightable and dark room for photographers it manages your digital negatives in a database and lets you view them through a zoomable light table and enables you to develop raw images and enhance them so this thing is real good with photographers and i've seen a lot of tutorials out there on actually how to use it and like i said it's related to or is similar to adobe lightroom which i've never used that as well but like i said it's free and open source you can use it on mac windows and linux uh as well as bsd but but based on the reviews i've read this is a top-notch photo editor uh for people that are into photography okay so moving on to the next one is krita now krita is basically a professional open source uh graphics editor with advanced digital uh painting and sketching tools as well as you know a lot of workflow workflow features it's actually created by kde that's another reason i want to kind of put this one on my list krita is free on the official website you can download it you know directly from there and it's also in the all the you know major repositories but one thing about krita for some reason on steam you know you have to pay money for it and in the microsoft store you have to pay for it but you could download it for free off the website it's just the versions that are in the microsoft store as well as you know on steam you know you have to pay for them but of course it's free on linux so you want you don't have to worry about that but if we read a little bit on their website it says krita is a professional free and open source painting program it is made by artists that want to see affordable artwork or tape tools for everyone concept art texture and matte painters illustration and comics so this is something you guys really want to check out if you into this type of work you know doing like artwork you know all that good stuff so these this is a professional you know tool for that and i've played around with this application i didn't go too deep into it you know what i'm saying i haven't installed i was just basically trying to learn how to actually use this application because i wanted to do a video on it in the future so i use it um not that much but i do use it so it's that's why i figured i would put it on this list so and along with all the other applications that are on this list there are plenty of tutorials on how to actually use it on youtube so just check it out for yourself and now the last one that i want to cover is gimp this is the equivalent or alternative to adobe photoshop you know what I'm saying? And it is one of the most powerful and popular photo editors for Linux. You know, it's considered one of the best alternatives, like I said, to photo Photoshop. And you can also use it on multiple platforms. So it's available on Windows, Mac OS, as well as, you know, the Linux operating system. It has a whole bunch of features, you know what I'm saying? It's a custom customizable uh, UI. And it's plenty of photo enhancement tools that are built into the system. And then also, there are a lot of scripts that are available out there that can help you with editing photos as well. So you can go pretty far and in deep into this uh, actual application and do some of the same quality work that you can do in Photoshop. Now, one thing about GIMP is it does have a learning curve, so you have to kind of uh, just really understand well th where things are within the actual application but that's pretty much with a lot of different applications especially like photoshop if i didn't if i never touched photoshop before i would open up photoshop and be lost in the sauce you know what i'm saying because it's a learning curve for that as well but Kemp, you know most people have used photoshop or at least seen photoshop 
you know it's probably like a little bit of a learning curve when it comes over from photoshop to gimp because things are certain tools that you would use in photoshop or a different name or a different icon in gimp so that may confuse you a little bit there but just so you know though this application you know can save you a whole lot of money because like projects that you've created using photoshop you can actually open them up in gimp it supports the psd format so and that's one of the reasons you know i really enjoy the application you can use projects that you created on different platforms in gimp and and go through and edit them you know on gimp so it's a pretty good application but i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh like i said this is my list uh so don't beat me up too bad if i left out an application that you really like because i know it's some others that are out there i just kind of wanted to cover the ones that are on my list as some of the good photo editors that you can use on linux but if you guys got any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and of course keep it techie